What's up world? How you doing? It's Jaime in the house again. What's up? Anyways, I know it's been a while. Um, we had some COVID reports over in this area, so uh, we just put things on hold for, uh, well, a week and a half, almost two weeks now. And I had to come over here by myself and get something done because, you know, it's just, I just got the takeout ready to open. And um, I just, I gotta be doing something all the time. But anyways, um, Keeping busy is keeping busy, I guess. It's pretty cool. But what I did when I came over today, I, I, I've I been working to to go after the 2x6 in the, the house for well, the last four weeks. And I, I haven't been able to figure it out how to do it structurally so everyone's safe, like myself, for one. I'd like to live another day. Or maybe two, maybe three. Yeah, three three would be good. Uh, and then I could have fish on Friday. That'd be really cool. But anyways... Enough about that. Um, yeah, no, what's going on is that I came over here and um, decided to get into the roof today to try and get the 2x6. And my land sakes, I tell you. I'm going to show you through it. It, uh, it looks pretty crazy, but uh, <laughs> wait until you see this. Anyways, I had to move, I had to move the tiny house to get it out of, um, to get it out of its spot. Because when COVID-19 breaks, my friend Jamie's coming down and putting his trailer on this lot here. This is where he's going to put his trailer for the summer. And kick back and might have a couple beers here and there. You know, no dri drinking and driving though. That's the way it goes. Anyways, so I'm going to take you up the hill and show you what I did today. And uh, when I first got into it, we thought, or I thought, my land, what am I, how am I going to do this? So I've been using this Black & Decker saw, and I know everything I get is on the cheap, but it it's, it's real life, man. This is the way I really am. So anyways, what I did, it was, uh, was it last summer? I got a brand new Black & Decker at a yard sale for like nothing, for like 15 bucks. I was so excited, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to use this Black & Decker um, reciprocating saw to cut down pretty much the whole house. Why not, if I can? So we tried it once, and we cut down the middle. I told you guys about that on a previous video. And uh, the floor got all springy on me, and I was like, ooh, this is terrible. So we had to stitch it back together. Anyways, um, after stitching it back together, I checked things out and did some planning. I'm gonna walk in, and I'm gonna show you what we did here. Hold on. All right, did today, sorry. We, I wish I could have my friend hanging out with me, helping me out, but he's, uh, he's on the other side of the line and with COVID-19 restrictions, it's just the way, way life goes, right? He's allowed to come and he's allowed to help me, but he's a little nervous about coming out with COVID and stuff. But anyways, this is our new deck on top of the house. <laughs> pretty crazy eh? oh my land literally took the whole thing here took that uh that black and decker saw see that this thing's freaking awesome you know what i didn't think it was gonna i didn't think it was gonna do me but this thing literally goes through anything i know makita does too and everything like that but 15 bucks and literally I did all that with it. It's crazy. I know it's a disaster in here, but at least I'm safe. <coughs> well, for now, and where I cut through the floor before, or through the ceiling before, I'm just lucky the whole house didn't come down because I had to put that branch up to hold it brace that off down there to keep it safe because all in here is rotten so i'm terrified to stand there and you know if i'm here i got my phone in my pocket and i got a lot of people on speed dial to come drag me out of this mess if it falls on me but anyways we uh we were trying to get at this for so long and finally 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 i got into it and I said, you know what, I'm not going to stop. We used uh, toe straps. Uh, my friend lent me his toe straps, and I took the toe straps, and, and I hooked it onto my bumper. 
And I said, what can it hurt? <laughs> and guess what? It literally ripped the whole house down. It's freaking awesome. But anyways, this is, floors are like, ooh, they're pretty scary in, in this room now that I finally got into the roof. So anyways, this is the little house on its way. Here, I'll stand back. I got to walk through a jumbled mess here to show you guys everything. <sighs> Cut it like sandwiches. I watched it on YouTube. And a guy told me, cut it like slices of bread. I was talking to him, so I did. Here. That's the house. The whole roof took off today. Pretty cool, eh? Oh, it's more than cool. Anyways, a little boring, but that's what's going on. Anyways, I, uh, I plan on uh, being here by myself for a while, so I'm going to make videos and show you guys what's going on anyways it's all cool <sighs> yeah hold on here i'll show you a big pile of mess that i got laying here that i got it's my job for tomorrow just pulling the two by six out all the two by six that didn't get destroyed in the pull down like that one right there that thing that's all perfect the whole piece came down all at once so perfect but the windows i was saving to make uh, window easels they kind of got destroyed so crap happens right anyways thanks for watching guys i appreciate it and i'm supposed to say uh if you like the videos push subscribe hit the bell i don't know what any of that means but it don't matter just if you don't want to do it just keep watching it as you go anyways uh that's yeah we got this all this all cleaned up here and this is where another trailer is gonna go or a small little tiny house will be put there. Yeah, so we got that. But there's stumps right there that I got to get out before we do anything. I've got to get um, the machine in probably in the next couple weeks to get those those big logs off the ground and get them taken to the mill to get them milled up. So anyways, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Anyways, remember what I say, guys. Be safe. Take care of each other and do things your way. Your way is all that matters. Peace out. See you next round.